Yes, we are live. Okay, very cool. The first Patreon live stream. I'm excited. I'm really excited. This is so cool. Is there anybody out there? <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you very much, Patreons, for your support. Like I said, the very first um, Patreon live stream. Let's uh, do this. Today we will look at a soft SN machine, a new oscillator. Actually, it's still a pre-release um, from 8 mode. Um, if I understood it correctly, it's already on the way to the plugin manager. So it will not take long until it will be um, available there. But it's already available to download. There's a link in the description. You can download it. Very first Patreon live stream. Yes. Okay, so let's start with it. Um, let's have a look. It's a, a really quirky and interesting and very unpredictable oscillator. It has an envelope, a tech decay envelope, built-in CV inputs for everything. A super low frequency um, oscillator, which can do all sorts of stuff. Let's see. Is there anybody out there? Just want to know that you can hear me. Let's wait a bit. Okay, so I will start actually. You know what, what I will start? <laughs> I got a complaint. A funny one, a nice one actually. Still a complaint. That in the live streams, um, there are no hey guys. So here it goes. Hey guys. Okay, now we did it. <laughs> and let's start. Okay, so we have two outputs here. Let's use also a scope. We have two outputs. Um, a triangle wave, which will be after the envelope, and a square wave. Let's see something like this. Very nice. And let's listen to this also. Um, let's already create a sequence so it's easier to listen to. I will use, let's use the Turing machine just because it's nice and easy. Let's um, let's see a BPM a BPM. Let's go with 147. Let's duplicate it also by two. And let's send this clock to the Turing machine. Very nice. Let's take the scale a bit, and let's use quantum as our um, quantizer. So we have this. Um, it will be quantized to a scale. Let's use my favorite. C E flat G B flat will send the Turing machine to quantum. From there, let's go already to the volt per octave input of the VCO of the um, not of the super low frequency oscillator, but the normal oscillator. And you can see already there is movement. Very nice. Let's add also a nice reverb, just so it's not so um, dry sounding. Let's add also the stereo channel from CF, so we can control the levels a bit. Very cool. Okay, so I will send the um, square wave. Very nice. Let me just see that we are not too low here. Very cool. Okay, let's see just that everything is working. Okay, I hope you can hear me. So, this is how it sounds like. Now we have the um, uh, frequency knob. It can go pretty low. High also. Now this chip here, this uh, oscillator is based, or it's an emulation. Uh, according to this chip here, the S, uh, SN76477, it's really, it's a unique chip. Like I said, there is a, a link in the description. 
where you can download it and there is also some information about this uh, chip and it's, uh, it's, it's really unique, it's really unpredictable also, you will see this also in a second. So we have um, Volt per octave input, we have CV for the attack decay, we have another for, uh, Volt per octave input for the super low frequency oscillator that we will look at uh, in a second. Then we have also built-in noise with the frequency and filter, again CV inputs. Then we have trigger to trigger the uh, attack decay envelope. We have another CV input for the one-shot mode, for the length of the one-shot mode. Then we have another CV input for the duty cycle. Now this is also interesting, the pulse width of the square wave. It will also change the pulse width of the triangle wave, so we can create sawtooth and such. But it will also change the pitch. Take a listen. You can see the triangle wave is also a sort of a ramp up. But it also messes around with the pitch. Which is unpredictable. <laughs> And here we have the mixer, which uh, now we have the VCO. So now I turned it off. We still have the triangle wave. We can add to it the super low frequency oscillator and then we get a really nice um, effect. And here we can change the frequency of this super low frequency oscillator. Very nice. So we can send, for example, the, the volts section to it. Let's do this already. Oh yeah. Okay, we can add also noise. We can change its frequency and, uh, and filter it. Add some grit to the sound. Okay, let's leave it something like this. Now let's send it uh, through the one-shot envelope, the attack decay, by changing the envelope settings. And now we need a trigger, so let's use the trigger from the Turing machine. Let's use the first one. And we can change the decay and the length of this envelope. So let's take it all the way down. Let's take the noise out. Okay, now what I want to do is because of the notes that are happening also, they are changing also um, um, without relation to the trigger, so to the envelope. So we get this uh, weird effect of uh, tails, those notes tails. So what we can do, we can sample this signal Let's use kinks or utilities from audible instruments and let's sample the, um, the voltage coming out from quantum and we will trigger it with the same trigger the envelope is receiving so now only when the um, oscillator is being triggered then there will be a change in notes Let's take also the super low frequency oscillator down. Let's 
let's lock also a sequence. Let's do. Let's lock. Um, what should we do? Let's do a six. Let's do a ten. Ten step sequence. Lock it to the left. Very nice. Now what else we can do? We can use also the triangle wave. So if I connect it now, again it will not... You can see that it's uh, playing, it's uh, after the envelope. It's not being affected by the one-shot envelope. So we'll get this. Let's change the reverb a bit just. So what we can do, let's add, I will uh, get rid of the scope for a second, let's add slap from Vault as our envelope generator and VCA, let's send the triangle wave to the VCA from there to the mixer and let's use the uh, a different gate this time a different gate this time, let's see let's use number 3 and now again, I will want to sample this um, voltage. So let's actually, let's use brains. So we have more sample and hold sections here. And I will do the same connections that I did with kinks. Just through brains, the quantum will go to the input. The trigger will trigger this um, brains. Um, no, let's use a different sample and hold. Let's use the one from Bog Audio. So Bog Audio, we have a double sample and hold, it's a smaller module. Um, let's see something like this, sample and hold, Bog Audio, very nice. So again, let's do the same connections, connections, gate will be our trigger, the input will come from quantum and the output will go to the oscillator. Then we can get rid of kinks this time. And let's add another one. And again, the gate will come from the same gate the uh, slap is receiving. The input will come from the same um, quantum. And the output, what can we do with the output? Actually, we, we don't have another... Um, so let's add another oscillator and let's, let's leave the... Um, Let's leave um, the triangle wave like this. But we will add another sequence. We will sample or we will quantize the volts here. So let's do this here, for example. Okay, so let's quantize the volts section. I will just send it to, the, to quantum. And this is what will go to the to the second sample and hold. Actually, I have here another section. Very nice. And now this will go to the oscillator, to the volt per octave input of the oscillator. This also we don't need now. And the trigger will come from the same trigger that triggers the sample and hold. Let's see how this sounds like. Very nice. Triangle also. Maybe again through slap. And what we can do, actually we can do something interesting. Let's take the slaps, the slap modules down. And do the same here. So we have the same gate. Um, let's use this. Let's use for the first slap, we'll use this first gate, the first um, gate output or trigger output. For the second slap, the third one. Now the triangle wave to slap from there to the mixer. So now we have those two. But what I want to do, we can leave them. Let's spend them just left and right in the mixer. So also our um, square waves are panned. Save this patch. Mm, 
And now what we will do for the triangle waves, we will use Amalgam from Veli. It's quite new. And let's send the um, um, triangle waves also to um, Amalgam, so to the left input of each section for the uh, X section for the Y. Very nice. And let's see, let's send this already to the mixer. Let's mute everything else for a second, just so we can listen to this. And let's choose a nice, let's choose, oh, there is a ring modulation. A diode ring modulation or the one with the folding, yeah. So this one, it will also fold both um, signals. And will also um, blend an XO logic. So we can use this to modulate the sound a bit. Let's just take the sustain all the way down of those envelopes. Very cool. Okay, so let's do something like this. Let's do something like this. Let's use... Now let's use brains. So sample and hold. And I will clock it um, with the same clock we are clocking the Turing machine. And let's modulate the folding and also the blending of the XO logic. Let's just take it somewhere here. Let's see how it sounds like everything together. Yeah, it adds lots of grit. What we can also do is modulate the decay time of both oscillators. Let's see. So here we have the CV input. You can see everything is also color coded, which is also really um, easy. So let's modulate uh, with the sample and hold. Let's use the sample and hold that we have. So we have some variation. Let's actually use a different clock for the lower brains and multiply it by four. And let's also, let me just zoom in a bit. Let's also activate the range for this sample and hold. So we have on the right side, we have zero to positive one volt. This is enough for me. I just want positive voltage for the decay. And let's change the source. So the one from uh, Emelgam, left and right. Okay, now let's add another oscillator. And now let's have a look. Um, we have two more modes here in the envelope section. We have the mixer and the alternative VCO mode. And we have also, we can choose uh, the oscillator. So external will be the square wave, or we can choose the super low frequency oscillator, which has lots of interesting effects. 
So let's duplicate it and initialize it. And let's see, let's uh, send the square wave to the mixer. And now let's activate the super low frequency oscillator. And now this oscillator, if I turn to the left, we get sub octaves. sub frequencies and to the right have a listen let's add the scope also this is uh, quite interesting oh yeah this is the f uh, frequency of the super low frequency oscillator Modulating the pitch, apparently. It sounds like a pentatonic scale. Oh. <laughs> and also you see when I uh, click the trigger here you can see weird stuff are starting to happen also the duty cycle the pulse width you can see it's really unpredictable also the decay look at this look at this shape the attack Let's add also um, the super low frequency oscillator in the mixer. You can add the noise, filter it a bit. Crazy. Now we also have the mixer mode of the envelope, which will apparently um, control the envelope with the oscillator. Again, really weird. Go check out um, later the, the information about this chip. It's really interesting. And then we have another alternative mode for the oscillator which also we get really weird stuff here okay let's try to create something that will accompany what we've built until now so I have an idea what I want to do. I will initialize it, I will activate the super low frequency oscillator. And we'll create something a bit crazy. Let's modulate the duty cycle with the sample and hold, the quick one, the faster one. And maybe the left side, so we have negative to positive one volts. Maybe also the super low frequency oscillator. Add some noise. Okay. So now what I will do, I will add clouds <laughs> and I will use this to create a nice um, texture to the sound. Let's see how the triangle uh, wave sounds like. also very weird <laughs> let's send this to clouds let's uh, raise the gain a bit um, 
something like this, blend all the way up, let's send this already to the mixer and pan it also left and right. Okay, so let's add some uh, grains, let's start generating grains to the right, generating the grains um, randomly. Okay, um, this is spread, let's spread the... So we get a more um, uh, stereo um, image. Very nice. Another one is feedback, a bit more feedback, and the last one is reverb. Let's generate some more grains. And let's modulate the texture with the upper brains and also the size of the grains. Let's see how it sounds like with everything else. Maybe we have to amplify this a bit. Let's take its pitch also a bit up. Okay, let's add some more voices. Let's add, let's um, mute this for a second. Let's add another mixer. Let's do this here. Okay, so the sound will come out from the last mixer and then we can chain both mixers together. Let's unmute this. Uh, first we can go to the view meter. Very nice. Okay, let's add some more voices. This is what we have until now. Weird and unpredictable like this oscillator. Interesting. Let's add some more voices. Let's see, let's add another oscillator of course. Initialize it. Let's use now, let's use a filter. We'll try to create a sort of a bass sound. So I will use tangents from Vult and send the square wave to the Lopez input of tangents and from there to the mixer. Let's initialize also the mixer. A bit more resonance. Okay, now let's activate again this uh, super low frequency oscillator and take the frequency of the main oscillator down. Oh yes, so we get Let's add some noise. Oh yeah. Let's modulate the cutoff frequency with the lower brains. Now let's use the upper brains because of its range. Maybe we 
without the noise. Let's see, let's, let's try something, let's add kinks or utilities from audible instruments and let's um, let's sample what's coming out of the first quantum but we will use a slower trigger so let's use, let's say divided by 14 this is also something I'm doing a lot um, to add a bass sound, so the notes for the bass sound. I'm sampling what I already have, but with a, a much slower clock. And let's send this to the frequency of the super low frequency oscillator. Nice, I like it. Um, let's have a look also at the CP, uh, CPU meter for a second to see how this uh, oscillator is acting CPU wise. So here for example it's hitting, I mean it will change from uh, computer or from system to a system but on my system it's hitting between 9 and 12 milliseconds which is reasonable I think and as I said it's uh, still you can see it's written also here it's still a pre-release but it will be soon it will hit soon the plugin manager but let's continue with our patch Okay, let's add some more, uh, uh, two more sequences, let's say, okay? Let's add two more oscillators. Wait a minute, we can use also the... Let's add the scope. I love the scope to see what's going on. We can use also the triangle wave. Oh, it's pretty low. So the triangle wave in this uh, super low frequency oscillator mode is different than the external mode. Let's see if we can hear something. Let's mute everything. Let's see. Maybe we can send it through a wave shaper, for example. We have the shaper from Squinky Labs, which is really good. The precision wave shaper. Let's send it to the wave shaper and from there to the mixer. Let's see what we can do with it. Let's choose a folder. modulate this. Let's modulate it um, again with the upper brains. I love brains. Brains. But I will want, you hear those clicks? So let's smoothen out this, this uh, modulation. Let's use a slew limiter. I will use the slew. You can use from Befaco. Let's use the one from Befaco. I will just send this through the slew limiter. And I will raise the uh, fall and um, rise times. So now instead, I will show you this also on the scope. Now instead of having 
a stepped voltage like this. Instead of this, we will get this here. Let's see, let's zoom in. You see that it's a bit, the corners, the corners are smoothened out. So the transition or the transients are not so hard. So we don't get those clicks. This is evil. This note is evil. Wah. Okay, let's add two more oscillators. We'll initialize them also. This is a weird patch. But I like it. It's weird, but it's nice. It's weird like this oscillator. Or like this chip, let's say. But it's interesting. I mean, it's a different approach. Um, at least to me, to the oscillators I know from VCV Rack. Okay, so let's use, let's do this. Let's send both signals from Quantum to the Logic. I do this a lot lately. I love this to create more sequences to the Logic section of Kinks. So we have input A and we have input B. So now we get two outputs. We get the minimum values and the maximum values. Let's see this also on the scope. Why not? It's free. <laughs> so this will be the maximum. This will be the minimum. So we have two more sequences that we can use. And what we will do, we'll add another sample and hold from Bog Audio because we have two. Let's do this here for a second. Okay, and we will use one will receive the maximum voltage, one the other one will receive the minimum voltage. Let's use a different gate. Let's use the fifth output and here number seven also from the Turing machine. And we will send the same triggers also to the trigger inputs of the oscillators. And what, actually, what else? We can do something different also. We can change the frequency or of the clock of the trigger. We have from Clear Factory, we have the clock multiplier. It's a, also a free available module. So what we can do, we can use two of those and we can mul multiply the clock by two or the gates just send the triggers through them and those will be the ones that will also trigger the oscillators and let's see what we get maybe we'll get uh, double notes I don't know we will see let's change both oscillators to one shot let's mute everything and listen just to those oscillators and let's take the volume a bit down let's start with one And of course, we have also to send the pitch information. Let's see if it's quantized. So the pitch information will go from this sample and hole to the volt per octave input. It's quantized because it's coming from quantum. Jumpy, sounds happy. Nice contrast to this evil note there. Let's see the other oscillator. Again, volt per octave. Let's spend them with right and left. So it's still related to the Turing machine, but the speed or the frequency is being multiplied by two, which is cool. You can also modulate this. But it doesn't do so much. Let's listen to this. Wow, this is evil. Let's 
slower the decay time, so the length of the one shot, and also the decay time. Oh yeah. And let's send them through a delay. Let's use the delay, the dual delay from MSM. We will sync it with our clock, we have a clock input, this will go to the main clock. And turn sync on. Let's send the oscillators first to the delay. And from there to the mixer. Let's raise the levels. Let's again mute everything. and change the time. Let's um, add some high-pass filtering. It's cool. It's also nice and colorful, this oscillator. I like it. It's happy. <laughs> it's happy, but it has evil tones, evil sounds. Not just, but also in this case. some more outputs here that we can use like the logic outputs on amalgam and the pulses let's see if we can do something with them let's again mute everything and listen to what we get for example from the pulses outputs so we have two of them oh nice and we have one octave lower Okay, let's send them first through a VCA. Why not? We have them, we can use them. Now, because I'm using mono signals here, just the left inputs are connected. So from the other side, and we will get exactly the same signals. So let's send them first through the VCA. Very nice. And let's use... Um, the AD envelope generator from Bog Audio, which I uh, really like um, recently. Let's trigger it. Let's trigger it with again with the um, multiplied by two clock and modulate the envelopes. Attack all the way down, decay. Okay. Again, pan a bit to the left and to the right. Maybe even shorter decay. This is cool. You can also modulate the decay time with the lower brains. So we have, what do we have? Negative to positive one volts, let's say. Mm, let's use the other one, the zero to one. Ah, okay, so in the Bog audio modules, when you connect something to the CV input, the dials or the knobs become attenuators. So we need to offset this um, voltage a bit. So we have also an offset module from Bog audio. So let's send the um, sample and hold first to the input of the offset and from there to the output. 
And now we can offset, so it starts, the modulation starts not from zero. This is what I wanted, let's see. This is not a weird patch, I don't know what is. Hey guys, uh, I think we are done here for today. Thank you again for your support. I really appreciate it. And um, this video will be available later on my channel. And the patch will be available on the Patreon page. So you can download it and have a closer look. And um, like I said, there is also a um, link to this module. You can download this module and also some explanations about this chip. Really interesting. Go check it out. Like I said, unpredictable, quirky and fun and can be evil sometimes also. <laughs> Very cool. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Patreons, thank you. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye bye.